Okay, we're going to turn our attention to the uh, adult males, locals. Yep, we see them heading towards the starting line now, just jogging along. So it'll be a few minutes before the, they come under starter's orders. However, some interesting names in the field. Gary Rayner, Christopher Harris, Chris Page, Cal Steed, Dirk Hauselkos, Benjamin Liu, Christopher Brealey, Sean Simmons, Eugene Norris Brangman. And of course we have Dorico Clark, Sean Trott, Tony Banks, Nick Strong, Stephen Allen, Craig Rothwell, Damian Simmons, Michael Lyons, and Garon Wilkinson. The night of racing it has been, no new records as yet, but we are now moments away from race number eight of the KPMG Front Street Miles to run down the list of competitors. Fastest qualifier, outstanding series thus far, Dario Clark, who's heavily predicted by the BTFA president, Donna Watson, to take the title, but he'll be hard pressed by the name that we see here, Sean Trott. He is the person who we saw uh, compete earlier in the Triangle Challenge, and yes, we can see him at the uh, starting line. And uh, we, we can hear now also, Calvin Steed is also running again, his second race of the night. He has the Triangle Challenge. So Stephen Allen looks like he's also in there. So three of these runners have actually already seen action tonight in the Triangle Challenge. Other competitors being Tony Banks, Nick Strong, Craig Rothwell, Damian Simmons, the son of the former BTFA president, Judy Simmons, also Michael Lyons, Garand Wilkinson, who's a story in himself. So excited to see him out there. Gary Rayner, Christopher Harris, Chris Page, Kelvin Steed, and Dirk Hasselkos. One gentleman out there had been warming up for almost the last two hours. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how he does. I didn't even know he actually had qualified for the race, but uh, we're moments away from the start of race number eight in the adult male division. After this, it is the two elite races. Here we go on to starter's orders. And we're underway. Trot is off to a good start. They're all looking smooth, starting off, going into their form. Just a quick note, last year's winning the time was 4.31. So we'll certainly here. see what the finishing time will be tonight. 4.31.3, last year's finishing time, won by Yvonne Norday. And uh, judging from uh, the running style in the distance, Sean Trott is really up there looking good. And Stephen Allen is also looking good. Yep, Gary Rayner is also in there. Adult man. Here comes Calvin Steed. He has quite a weekend out for him. He has uh, the 10K tomorrow and also the uh, action on Sunday. He'll probably go for the half marathon. We have a group gentleman who has front. been Sean warming up for the last uh, two hours. Now warming up here. He's 
getting a special applause. I don't know how he got in the race, but it's going to be uh, quite a while before he gets back here uh, to the finish line. And it's going to slow up matters while officials have been hoping to speed up things. I think it's going to be quite a while before he gets back here to the finish line. to be a three-man race, a four-man race. Uh, the record will stand 4.23.7 by Lamont Marshall. But here it comes. It's going to be 145. 145. That's going to be Gary Rayner. Stephen Allen was second. Oh, what a race there. They're coming in quick now. Number 131, also Nick Strong is finishing. Also number 135, Damian Simmons, here he is. You know the exciting race. Yep, and here's number 146 That's about to hit the finish line, and Chris, finish Christopher line. Harris. Fresh off the Fairmont to Fairmont race last week, Chris Page, the uh, president of Mac. Mid-Atlantic Athletic Club. So a great run by Gary Raynor. Should we say a, a superb finish, uh, sprinting for the line. Gary, as we said, is in fact a, uh, a master's runner, which makes it all the more special as the runners continue Number 151 to come in. about to finish now. Good run by him. Also number 137 and Garon Wilkinson. Martial Arts, here is Kelvin Cal Steed. Everybody's favorite cow. 555 Two for Steed unofficially. Still a few runners on the course. Approaching the Still finish the line now finish. at 610 on Strong the clock is number 152. Well Good run. Indeed. Now we do uh, we do have a runner still out on the course, but uh, two runners out of the course. Larry, I'd be interested to know uh, Gary Rayner's secret to uh, never getting old. Uh, fantastic finish from him. Let's listen to uh, our winner, Gary. Well, well done, done, Gary. Let's go back a little bit. You was third four years ago. Last year you were second. This year, now you're first place. Tell us the secret. 
there's definitely no secret. What, it's, what I decided to do this time was take, I, took out, I actually took it out too fast. I said, let me bring it back a bit. I said, these guys are younger legs than mine. I know they could take me on any given day. Just hung it from the high up a mark. Coming back, I felt good. Just opened it up. Did you know the policeman, Stephen Allen, was on your heels? <laughs> Did you fur he had handcuffs? Pretty much, yeah, he had me. Um, I just want to say thank you to all the, all the spectators that come out. You guys, every year I say I'm not going to do it again, you guys are the reason I come back out and do it again. Seriously. Definitely. Thank you, Gary. Well done to Gary Rayner, 2011 champion. Okay, uh, I'm pleased to uh, have with me Alfred Augustus, who is a, uh, a former president of the BTFA, to present the prizes for this particular race. Starting off in third place in a time of 4.40, we have Dorico Clark. In second place in a time of 4.39, we have Stephen Allen. Now, a mere 1.3 seconds separated these three runners, and it was the sprint that took him home. Fantastic finish for a time of 4.38.9. In first place, Gary Rayner. And Mr. Bregman finishes in just under nine minutes. <laughs> Well done indeed, gentlemen. Please turn around and acknowledge the crowd on the Burnaby Hill. Hey. Yeah. 